Well, hello, this is Kelly, and I am the Mathematic Plumber, and welcome to Video 7 of the Gas Venting with Tables series. Today we talk about sizing chimneys using gas appliances. If you have not watched the first four videos of this series, it is time to do it right now. Other words, this video will not make sense. All code references will be made from the B149.1 Natural Gas and Propane Installation Code by CSA of Canada, and I'm using the 2015 edition. First, we should look at the tables that we're about to be using here. So turn to page 203 in the gas code and go to table C5. Table C5 says capacity of tile line masonry chimneys with type B double wall vent connectors serving a single category one appliance. Now the wording on this should look exactly like table C1 that we talked about in a previous video, except we are going to vent into a chimney. If you turn to page 207 in the gas code, you will find table C6. Now, this is exactly the same as table C5, except for we have a single wall vent connector with one category one appliance that is venting into a chimney. If you turn to page 211 in the gas code, you will find table C7. Capacity of tile line masonry chimneys with type B double wall vent connectors serving two or more category one appliances. Table C7 should look a lot like table C3, except once again we're venting into a chimney. And finally on page 215 of the gas code we come across table C8, which is exactly the same as table C7 except for it has a single wall vent connector serving two or more category 1 appliances. Once again, this would be comparable to table C4 except we're venting into a chimney. Now the best way to get familiar with these particular tables is, like always, to do an example. I have a 62.5 MBH drafted equipped furnace with a 2 foot lateral and a 20 foot chimney. The vent connector is double wall, so we need to go to table C5. Now the first thing we should notice when we look down table C5 is the fan min-max columns, say NA. Well, that comes from GVR C210 that tells us we are prohibited to install a single fan-assisted appliance into a chimney. We're allowed to do a single draft hood equipped appliance, but not fan-assisted. Well, let's size it. We'll go down to a 20-foot vent height and across on a 2-foot lateral. And you will notice on 4-inch with NAT DP that we are 67,000 BTUs. Now that seems acceptable, but we need to do a mathematical check first. Code Clause 8128 discusses this mathematical check that we need to do and what it looks like. What we need to do is take the input of our appliance, which is 62.5 MBH, and multiply it by 1.25 or increase it by 25%. And then we need to compare that to the table value. 62.5 times 1.25 equals 78.125. Now let's compare that to the table value. Now the table value is 67 MBH. That table value needs to be less than or equal to that calculated value. Now 67 is less than 78.125, therefore things are good. The real concern is making sure the chimney is not too big because then we could condense like crazy and tile line chimneys break down very quickly when there's condensation inside them. That is a very bad thing. Now don't worry, we will see an example in the near future where it doesn't work out so we can discuss that further. But as for right now, the size of the vent connector can be 4 inch. In order to size the chimney, we need to go to the next page and we're going to continue down the 4 inch vent connector area until we get to the very bottom. I have a 19 and an 88 there and that represents the minimum and maximum internal area of the chimney in square inches. Now square inches don't help us very much because most chimneys are either square, rectangular, or circular. So go to page 220 of the code to table C10. If we look off on the right, we see an equivalent area in square inches of 12.2. Well, let's go minimums. We need it to be minimum 12 inch squared. So if I go across to the left, I can find out that I can have a round chimney of four inches. And if I go all the way to the left, I can have a rectangular nominal liner size of 4 by 8 inches. For my next example, I have two gas appliances venting off into a chimney. They both are using double wall vent connectors. The first one is a 36 MBH water heater with a draft hood and a 2 foot vent connector rise. The other is a 225 MBH fan assisted furnace with a 1 foot vent connector rise. And the chimney itself is 15 feet tall. 
because I have more than one appliance and double wall vent connectors, I need to go to table C7. Go down to a vent height of 15. Go across on a vent connector rise of 2 because we're going to size up that water heater. I go to NAT DP on the 4 inch vent connector and that is good to 47,000 BTUs. That should be good. Now at this point we do not have to do the 1.25 times check like we did last time. That only happens on the capacity of the common chimney. Now let's size up that fan assisted furnace and you will note we're allowed to do it. GVR C29 specifically states that if you have a fan assisted appliance connected up with a draft hood equipped appliance into a chimney we're allowed to do that but both need to be present. So we need to go down to a 15 foot vent height across on a one foot vent connector rise all the way into six inch fan max which is good to 277 mbh. That should be good. Now before I size the chimney I need to add up my total BTU load. I have 36,000 mbh plus 225,000 mbh which equals 261 mbh. And I need to scroll down through my table C7 until I get to the capacity of common vent. I come across on a 15 foot vent height and I need to come down the DP F plus N and I need to go all the way to 38 square inches to get 284,000 BTUs. Now we need to check it mathematically. So now the key here is I need to mathematically check the combined BTU load of the appliances. That was 261 MBH times 1.25 equals 326.25 MBH. Now I need to compare that to my table value, which was 284. Now that table value needs to be less than or equal to that calculated value, and it is. 284 is less than 326. What this tells us is a 38 square inch chimney is perfect for this application. Now, if you look through tables C7 and C8, when it comes to the capacity of common vent, you're gonna notice a weird nuance. Table C7 will only identify the minimum internal area of a chimney in square inches. But when you come to the capacity of common vent for C8, it actually gives you a round equivalent. Why? I don't know. What I can tell you is you will never, ever need to size a chimney in your life. That day is over. When that mathematical check that we do doesn't work out, then we're going to need to do something else. But you will see that in the next and final video because we are at the end of this one. Thank goodness. Have yourself a wonderful day.